transform head on. When night comes knocking, gotta keep on rocking. Open that door, shout it to the world, say hello, hello. Ha. Here I am, here I go. Hey guys, it's Zach, and I'm in my room right now, and I want to try a new segment that kind of revolves around Transformers. And as you can see, I have a background of Transformers here, as well as a vast collection of figures behind me. I've been collecting Transformers for years. Um, I'm loving the, the trilogy that's been out in the toy line that has Rooms of Car I've been working on, Combiner Wars, and uh, Titans Return. And we're just about to get into the third part of the trilogy, Power of the Primes. But before we hit that part of the toy line and that part of the comics, we have one more wave of action figures, Transformers, that are supposed to come out before Power of the Prime hits. And so this video is my prediction on who I think is going to hit Wave 6. I don't know if my predictions are going to be right. We saw how well that turned out with my last video, though I did get a handful of those correct. Um... So I have a list right here of what I think is going to happen in each class for Wave 6. So we're going to get started. Um, so first of all, we have the Titan class. And those are the little headmasters with the vehicles. And um, I think that Hasbro is going to give us an RC Titan Master, which is going to be the head. And uh, that will turn into Daniel. A lot of people have been wanting an RC Titan Master, I think they wanted a deluxe class figure, but I think we're just going to get a Titan Master with that one, which will be pretty exciting to have, finally. And then I have one more guess um, for my second prediction for the Titan class is Grotesque. And he will be the third and last Monster Bot rep representation. So I think that he might end up being a recolor of the weapon mode for Fangry, and then he'll get a new base blade. So let's move on to Legends class. There's been a couple rumors about Beachcomber, and I would love to have a Beachcomber. I think it's time for a new Beachcomber figure. So I'm going to say Beachcomber is going to be one of the Legends, and he's going to have like a little compartment for the Titan Master to, to ride in, like the other ones do. Now these last two that I'm guessing for Legends Clash are long shots, but I think we're going to get a Frenzy, or if you're like myself, it's Rumble, because Rumble is blue, Frenzy is red, but it's probably going to be labeled Frenzy on the um, packaging. But a blue version of that, so we'll have both Rumble and Frenzy, and then a recolor of Rewind being Eject which is Blaster's other little humanoid cassette bot. Deluxe class time. Now we already know one of the Deluxe class figures is going to be Slug Slinger, and he completes the Decepticon trio of Target Masters, which you see here. Um, so that's going to be the last one. We have the Hasbro version here with the Takara version here. And that completes off that trio. So I think those last three figures that would be in the lineup would hopefully be the Autobot Target Masters. So, Deluxe Point Blank, Deluxe Crosshairs, and Deluxe Sure Shot. And hopefully Takara would, re would release them with their Target Masters like they have been doing. So, we usually get two Voyagers per wave, and this is guaranteed probably what's going to happen based on rumors and speculation and a whole bunch of other things. First one being Voyager 8-Face, and he's uh, going to come in a gorilla mode, a vehicle mode, and a robot mode. The second Voyager is supposedly going to be Snapdragon, and he's going to have a dragon mode, a vehicle mode, and a robot mode. So we'll have the Horicon Headmasters, which would be awesome, the triple changers, so they have to be big. And supposedly these two are supposed to be recolored as Optimus Primal and Megatron from Beast Wars. But I have a feeling that that might be like some kind of special box set or something. Because I think since Optimus Primal won the Who's Gonna Be the Next Prime contest, that they're going to give him a special 
figure of his own. Though, last time we had a, a contest, we just had recolors of the combiner war figures. So, we'll see on that. I'm hoping that Primal gets like a, a whole new um, gimmick and whole new deco and not just a recolor of one of the headmasters. So, leader class. I have two two guesses on this and I, I don't know if either one of these will be right. I think it might either be Death Source or the Apex Armor God Bomber. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm thinking Death Source might be later in Power of the Primes and I think that the Apex Armor might be in a box set like Siege, Siege on Cybertron and Chaos on Velocitron were. So we'll just have to see about that. So I'm not sure that could be up in the air. So it would be really cool to um, get a new deco our new mold for the leader class figure. But yeah, those are my predictions for Wave 6. Um, I only had two of four predictions in the Titan Master class, three out of four in the Legends class, the all four deluxes, and a possible leader class. It's almost here. I mean, Wave 6, about to be revealed, going to Power of the Prime. I'm excited. Comment below, let me know what you think might be in the last wave and what you expect from Power of the Primes. And as always, guys, I will see y'all next time. Bye.